In this video, we'll talk about what's included in the affiliate program agreement. This is part two of body. If you have questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Okay, what do you need to put into your body? So like I said in the previous video, you have an agreement between one and two, and you have the intro, we have an agreement, the body, and the outro. In the previous video, we talked about the intro. We also talked about part one of the body. And now you are at part two of the body. And like I said in the previous video, I'm not going to discuss everything, but I'm just going to show you some things that you need to keep in mind. So this is the outro. Yeah. Keep in mind when you have a company, company give affiliate to people. They need to meet the requirements. When they meet the requirements, then you can let them sign the contract. And this is the contract. If they sign a contract, this is some contract. In the previous video, we talk about what happened if someone signed a contract and you want to get uh, uh, eliminate the person or you want to remove the person from the affiliate program. We talk about that, what you need to put into it. And like I said, I'm not going to discuss every agreement every details about this template but you can download this template and then if you have question about it, you can ask me or if you need consulting about it, you can also ask me on the in the law center yeah so now we're going to talk about a couple of things that are really important like responsibility so this is the contract all this thing what you need to keep in mind is when someone links to your website it's important that it comes from a good source. The word good is important because if it comes from a bad source, it can damage your branding. And that's not something you are looking forward to. I don't if I have a company, but that's not something you look forward to. So what you can do is tell the people, okay, listen, when you participate in my um, affiliate program, there are some rules that your website or your platform needs to meet in order to participate in my program. And here you see some examples of those rules. Yeah. I'm not going to discuss this, but I'm just showing it when you have some of the links to your website, you can, and they want to participate in your program. You can make some rules about that. For example, that uh, people shouldn't put violent things on their website and then link to your website. No, they should. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to sell anything if they have product or service that doesn't, it's, it's not related to violence or whatever. So keep it in mind. And those rules, you can put it in here. If you think about, okay, um, if I look at the template, there are some things that I'm still missing. Feel free to contact me. I can add it in and put it into your affiliate program yeah and i think in the next video or in a, another one we would look at an affiliate um, system of twitch and then we'll show you how they work so you can see how the system technically work the same as this one yeah so that's technically it for the responsibility to link to the owner's website you can put some requirements and then you have customer service what you need to keep in mind is that when someone link to your website, the person, the customer will come onto your website and they will order something. But most time before people order something, they need customer services or um, they have some question. And this is your part if you are uh, offering affiliate um, programs. Because you need to make sure that the customer get what they need and you need to make sure that you answer their question. And you see here, you can make some rules about customer services. Yeah, because most of the time when you look at affiliate programs or the people that promote the links, they'll be like, hey, I'm not responsible for the product or services. But now these days, you see a lot of people when they promote the services or product, they stand behind it and they will be like the face of the product. And that can be a problem, especially with your brand, if the product or service is really bad. So keep that also in mind. But the customer services, you can make some rules about that. Yeah. The owner will be responsible for handling all customers. See that? That's simple. 
keep that in mind and then we have compensation see that's a long thing about compensation when you get paid how you get paid and how much is it make sure you make some rules about that because some people they look at affiliate and they do not read the compensation and then they expect to get paid but they get paid let's say six months later i think it that happens with twitch um the first time you get paid is i think three months later i'm not sure when you become an affiliate yeah so the compensation is really important and here you see some examples that you can put in it but if you have a situation where you'll be like okay hey i want to put this also in the part of compensation how can i do that feel free to go on the law center and in the law center you can ask me question about this so if you want this template you want to download it and use it you have a link in the description then uh, go there download it and use it and if you have questions you can ask me on discord